Hello boys and girls, I'm Deputy Chief with the Easton Fire Department and once again this time of year we're going to touch on smoke detectors and when we should test and check their batteries. Now we want to do this at least twice a year when we spring forward and fall back changing the clocks um, but just as a little reminder in October as you first and second graders know we do our annual uh, fire safety homework and we have our red sheet handouts so we're going to go over what you need to do um, with the adult at home and uh, we'll get you set up for that. So what we're going to do is test every smoke alarm in your house and it might not look like this but they all have a test button so you're going to hold and press and you're going to make sure it makes that sound and if it doesn't make that sound what do you think you need to do? You should try to change the batteries or if it still doesn't work after that just replace the detector. And all of you by now should be familiar with our sheets and these you'll see these within the next couple weeks come out um, and it spells everything out for you. So you're going to count the smoke detectors so you have how many are in your home and there's no right or wrong answer to this. You could have one, you could have 30, it just depends on when your home was built. Um, do the smoke detectors all work? So you're going to push that button and test them and you're going to write yes or no and then just write your name who helped you and then write your teacher's name too because although we can't get into your schools we're still going to try to collect as many of these as we can just so we have them for our records okay 